Hi, I'm Phil Constantine. Travels with Phil continues. Washington, D.C. Spin around a little bit. Point way up. Washington Monument there. I'm standing right at the base of it. See people over there touching it. And we are going to look at the Washington Monument here. You can see it in the mall. This is where it's located on the map. And, uh, well, it is pretty tall. Now, this is the original design. It's supposed to have this big thing around the bottom of it. They decided not to do that. It is uh, very tall. It is 555 feet, give or take a few inches, depending on who you listen to. It has a, uh, what they call a pyramidion at the top. And uh, 15 foot wide walls at the base and a foot and a half thick at the uh, top. And if you see this little old design here for many, several years, it was the tallest building in the world. Now, these are some of the original buildings or photos, some early photos from when it was started being worked on in the 1848 is when they started working on the uh, Washington Monument. And uh, if, well, to be honest with you, for a little while, it was just a bit of a stump because it stopped between 1854 and 1877. A variety of reasons. Uh, donations ran out. Civil War came on. There was a bunch of uh, conflicts between uh, folks within the commission. Now, it continued. Basically, it finished until about 1884. Now, this is the top of it. It's aluminum. It's actually been inscribed up there on the top on all four sides. Uh, but uh, it was dedicated in 1855, but finally cooked totally everything, including the outside, by 1888 was completed. Now, they've done several uh, restoration projects. This is from the 1830s, where they came back in and did uh, you know several different pieces of work. You can see them looking toward the uh, Lincoln Monument, or Lincoln Monument or Lincoln Memorial, take your choice. And that's what it looks like now. Let's go to a video I shot not too long ago. Now, there is the Washington Monument. And just a little note here, just above the trees, you can notice the texture of the bricks changes. I can't remember if it was due to war or economic conditions, but they had to stop the construction for quite a while. And by the time they got around to doing it again, the same part of the quarry wasn't available anymore. And the color of the stones is actually different there. It's sort of uh, grayish on the bottom and sort of yellowish on the top. All right, Travels with Phil, Washington continues. Well, to continue with what I talked about earlier, since we got a good straight view, this is the Washington Monument. And they stopped about a third of the way through. I don't know if it was because of war or economics, but see, you can see right here the contrast between the lower third and the upper third. Bottom third is sort of whitish, and the upper two thirds is sort of yellowish. Uh, they literally stopped. I don't know, remember how long and again for why, but they did have to stop by the time they came back. Yeah, there was either a different quarry or a different part of the same quarry and the colors weren't exactly the same. So that's why the Washington Monument isn't the same color all the way up. And the work stopped right at the 150 foot mark. So this is what it looks like now when it's been completed. And there is, uh, well, again, they've done several restoration work uh, jobs on it. But uh, sometimes it's open, sometimes it's not open. When I was there in 2016, the insides were not open. Uh, and that was because of an earthquake. I'll have more on that in a little bit for you. But it is impressive as far as obelisks go. It is still the largest um, um, marble-type building monument. Uh, the Texas uh, San Jacinto Battleground Monument is about uh, 13 feet higher, but it's masonry, and uh, this is uh, stone. So that's uh, what gives it a difference. There's 50 flags around the bottom, uh, U.S. flags, all U.S. flags, but uh, one for each one of the states that are out there now. And that's a view from uh, over by uh, Arlington Cemetery. This is a view from the uh, Jefferson Memorial. So you can see it from all over. Uh, it's uh, in the middle of the mall. One end is uh, Lincoln. The other end is uh, the uh, Congress. That's what it looks like from overhead. That was shot by an astronaut. And no drones. They don't want you flying any drones around here. All right. Well, what happened uh, uh, a while back? And this is the top part up here. There was an earthquake. And this was on August uh, the 23rd, 2011. There was a 5.8 magnitude earthquake. Now, these are uh, security cameras inside. And that's a park ranger there. And all of a sudden, you can see literally the shaking starts. Now, you got to remember that the uh, cameras may be wiggling a little bit more than the building is, but it definitely, uh, you can feel it and everybody's starting to move around. And that's got to be a scary situation. So, you know, they're all, she's looking at the camera moving and looking at the ceiling to see if something might be coming down. Now, I believe this is at the 500 foot level where they have some of the views. And so they're heading down the stairs. There was some damage done. The earthquake or the uh, elevator that's inside here uh, 
was really making some squeaky noise in some of the other videos that I've seen. And so that, uh, and you don't really want to get in an elevator during an earthquake anyway. So this is the same, t uh, same time, different location, but the same level. And you can see the lady taking a picture doesn't really seem to know that anything's going on at first. And then when it picks up, 5.8 is pretty significant. That was one of the big ones they had. I think Northridge in Los Angeles was roughly a 5.8. They don't get many earthquakes in Washington, so they would have had real problems uh, you know, trying to figure out what's going on unless they're from an area that has lots of earthquakes. Oklahoma's getting a lot of them now. All right, and finally a third camera here. And you can see this one really is getting quite a bit of shaking on, the, on that particular camera. See the people over in the bottom left-hand corner. So again, it didn't last very long. It lasted maybe, I think it was about 40, 45 seconds, something like that. But you can still see the debris falling down. And if a chunk of that uh, concrete or whatever that is hits you on the head, that's going to hurt. All right, so this is the actual damage up on the 500-foot level, the one you're just watching, taken by somebody with a camera walking around. in the stairwell. Now, if this is stucco, it's not so bad. If it's, you know, insulation, that fake roof kind of stuff, it's not so bad. But this is actual rock. That can do some real damage. And obviously, there was damage done. Uh, earthquakes tend to magnify the amplitude. The shaking back and forth seems worse in a tall building. Now, that's a good chunk of rock. You wouldn't want that falling on your head. And so as part of the effort to figure out what was going on, they had pictures taken from outside, and you can see the big crack there toward the top. So they decided that we need to get outside on rappelling ropes and look. And so this is from the helmet cam of the folks going outside to look and see what the problems were and see what needed to be done and how to fix it. So this is a person dangling from the very top, so they're well over 500 feet above the ground level at this point. I've done some rope work uh, climbing mountains, but uh, never a 500-foot drop, at least hanging by a rope. So that's got to be a little bit of a scary job. So, if you saw the Spider-Man movie, that's those little windows where he goes in, the last Spider-Man movie. All right, inside they have a bunch of memorial stones. Uh, it's all stairways going inside. There's like 900 stairs going up to the very top. There's a Cherokee Nation. All kinds of folks, organizations uh, came in and put in uh, memorial stones. That's from Siam, which is nowadays called uh, Thailand. The Home of Stark from New York. The Invincible Fire Company. These are all just a bunch of different folks, who, organizations, some of them states, uh, some of them companies, some of them just individuals, the Temperance Society, uh, you know, the Masons have stuff, International Order of Foresters have things, this is the state of Ohio, uh, all kinds of folks have these memorial blocks inside the Washington Monument, so a very, very interesting place. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up by clicking on the button below. You're welcome to leave comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And finally, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the button over on the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you again for watching.